Professor Andy Trapp, it's great to be with you. You're in our business school, you're affiliated with our data science program, and you're working on projects that really are so WPI, using science and technology to assist in real human need. You're working on a really exciting project around refugee placement. Can you yes. tell us about it? Sure, yeah, so this started several years ago. Uh, I started working with a fellow in the refugee space, Mike Mitchell uh, at HIAS, it's a refugee resettlement agency, and I started adding collaborators, a fellow from Oxford, a professor at Oxford, uh, and we started looking at this problem of how do you place refugees well, how do we do this better? Presently it's a manual process. The manual process is, you know, you can imagine a whiteboard and people sitting in a room every week operationally. They need to place the refugees they have that, they've been, that have been approved through the UNHCR, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, and the U.S. State Department. So these are already approved refugees. Right. To, where do they go throughout the, the country? And you all were able to produce some software that really optimizes that placement process and makes it much better and faster. Yes, it's yes, amazing. that's right. So it's taken a lot of the labor and the manual decision making out of it, but not completely. And that's an important subtle point is that we can marry these two worlds of the technology and really using the technology and its advantages, its ability to crunch numbers and kind of come up with recommendations and the actual expertise of the decision makers, right? So you don't want to lose that. You the need the humans in the loop, right? Because if you don't have that, um, you end up with these recommendations that don't really make sense. We can only approximately model, as best we can do is approximately model the situation. But it's really helped. It's really helped the decision maker to make better decisions. You can imagine, I can imagine a lot of other kinds of applications for this approach to optimize decision making and placement. Y'all are working on a lot of other things too uh, that are associated with this way of doing things. That's Tell right. us about that. That's right. So another project here local to WPI is matching sophomore students to international project centers. We have this problem every year of placing thousand around a thousand this, students. this year it'll be at 1200 and some yeah. students into international project centers so around 50 around the globe that we have yeah. so really their signature experience and so each student gets to recommend where they'd like to go they, they're, they're, they're recommending a, a very interested and interested and a not interested location for, for each student and the project centers also they have criteria that they're looking for and so we're matching them in a way that that honors the students perspective and also according to their fit and uh, we were able to achieve 100% uh, placement in terms of uh, students going to very interested project centers. It's amazing because it used to be this very manual labor intensive process and there would end up with huge waiting lists not yes. optimized. Yes. And this year you really did manage to do it. And uh, it was great and there are big smiles on everybody's face in and our it's global no, projects program. You're right, and it's really a team, a team effort. Yes, you absolutely. Know? Uh, it's not just me, I, I maybe helped to direct the architecture and things, but students are really coming in, and, and you know other professors and, and IJSD folks, I mean, it's really a team effort. So, speaking of team, you have students working on these uh, various projects with you, on the refugee projects and other right. things. Yeah. Tell, tell us about the students who you find and how they work across these disciplinary boundaries. You know, it's fascinating uh, being affiliated with the data science program at WPI, which is really statistics, it's business, it's computer science, and we really need these different skill sets, and WPI is naturally uh, aligned in, in, in the way of, you know, knowing technology in these different areas. And, yeah. and so as we're putting them together, I've, I've found students in, with mathematical backgrounds or computer science backgrounds or business backgrounds, all three, and it's a joy to work with these students and kind of put the, plug them into problems where um, it's, there's no shortage of students that have a, a real passion to work on humanitarian or social, maybe I'll say yeah. social good yeah. problems. Well, that's the great thing, right? You know, we all think of it as being the super high tech program in data science and, and yeah, industry as out there gobbling up our graduates as fast as we can produce them. But there's so many human problems that data science can be applied Absolutely. towards, and it's just great to see that work happening here at WPI. Professor Andy Trapp, thank you so much. Thank you, yeah, I'm thrilled to be here.